it's Nadia from Leo Dia Designs and I'm back with another tutorial. Today we're doing something really fun. Um, this is something that I've actually wanted to do <laughs> for a little while now, but with all my traveling and stuff, I just didn't get a chance to put one together or kind of experiment with it. So what I did, and actually you saw in the time lapse before we started here, is I bought these chocolate uh, silicone molds. So they're actually meant for real chocolate like for bakers and stuff they can make their own chocolate bars and if you're pretty much anywhere on social media right now I'm pretty sure you've seen that there's a trend of you know decorating chocolate bars with all different kinds of things in order to just you know make them really fun they have sprinkles and icing and flowers and you know just little characters all different things that people are doing with them so I've been seeing that and I thought oh wouldn't it be really cute to make something with resin so this is just kind of the start of this project. It's actually going to be a much bigger thing, but we're going to include everything in the video. So you'll see what we're doing. But to start, so like I said, I poured um, resin just mixed with some acrylics. Um, actually, this one was acrylics and this one had pigment paste in it. So the acrylic I used for this was this one here. It's just folk art and it's just like a well, I guess the color is like vintage tea rose. It was, it looked a bit different in the resin than it does here. So I ended up adding, I think a little bit of white to kind of lighten it up a bit. But anyways, that was pretty much the color I was going for there. So we have that. And then this one, like I said, I mixed some white pigment paste with uh, a little bit of like a, a tan or like a beige color pigment paste and then kind of created this. And this one's really neat actually, because it ended up having all these little speckles in it, which to me kind of gives it even more of a, you know, kind of real chocolate feel. So yeah, so anyway, so it's not real chocolate, guys. I was showing my kids and they <laughs> and they were wondering what was going on and if I've totally lost my mind. But anyway, um, so what we're going to do now is I want to decorate these. And again, this is a lot of steps here, but I think the process can be really fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So now what we're going to do is I want to put... Um, kind of like zigzag lines um, along the bottom half or bottom third of each of these and then put some sprinkles on them. So I have some pink uh, kind of like mixed sprinkles and then I also have these rainbow ones here and these are from, let me see, these are from this company. It's uh, They're made in Canada. This is Sweet Apolita and they have great sprinkles. So if you're looking for really cool mixes of sprinkles, they have some great ones. I'll put the link in the description below. Like I said, they are located in Canada, but I know they're popular like everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So what we're going to do is um, if you've seen the ones, in, you know, on Instagram or whatever, um, they basically take icing, like the bakers will take icing and then they'll just kind of ice it in a zigzag shape and then put sprinkles on it. Obviously, because we're doing resin, we have to do things a little bit differently. So what I'm going to be using is fabric paint. So I have a couple brands here because I was just trying to pick colors that I wanted. So I have the, uh, I have Magic Fly for the pink and then I have a couple for Castle, but they're all fabric, 3D fabric paint. So they're all going to work in a similar way. And like I said, we're going to add our sprinkles. Now, normally, um, I believe when the bakers do it, they are able to put their icing down and then put the sprinkles right away. And it just kind of all will hold together as the icing dries. We can do that to a certain extent here, but I feel like um, we may need to let the, the paint dry and then add our sprinkles later. But I'm going to try a bit of both and see how it works out. So let's do that. So let's start with our white one here. And I want to do the pink and the purple on the white one. So let's try a little bit here. Now, this one is a bit thicker in terms of the how the paint's coming out. This is the Magic Fly brand. It's a bit thicker, which generally means it's going to hold its shape. Um, if you guys have seen all the tests I've done in the past, it's going to hold its shape really well. But I think it's still going to work for what we want. We want it to hold its shape, but we also want it to flow nicely, right? So let's see what we can do. And I haven't tried this, guys. So first time, whoop, and that's what I was worried about. See, it will... Sometimes that kind of stuff is what's going to happen with the thicker paint. Obviously, when bakers are doing it, they're drizzling it, right? And it's like a like the icing the um, the icing that they're using is 
thinner, but we want this to be able to hold its shape. So let's not get discouraged here and just keep going. And if it looks a little rough, I think that's okay too, because again, it's just something fun. So there we go. We got a bit of pink. And obviously when we see it on Instagram and everyone's going, Ch -ch 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 -ch, and it's like super quick and super cool, but I can't do that here because it's just not going to work out. Now the purple is a bit thinner, so we might have a little bit of better luck. There we go with this one here, like so. A little bit more there. And we will need to kind of like pick this up, I think. Um, just to not have all the paint dry like that on the sides, but let's deal with that in a minute. So we have that and then I feel like I want a little bit more pink along the top here. Ooh, almost perfect, but no. All right. So there we go. <clears throat> so we have that. Um, let's try to put some sprinkles on it. I don't know. I think we might still have to come back later and just make sure that they're stuck. So let's take some of these. I'm going to put the rainbow ones, I think. Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to do this? Hmm. Pink ones on here? Yeah, maybe pink ones on here. All right. <clears throat> so we'll take some of our pink and we're going to just sprinkle it on. Actually, it's holding. So let's see and this actually has and I don't know if I'm gonna get them it has these really cute little stars but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get oh no I mean they're all stuck to the jar let's see if we can get some on our on our bar because I think those look really pretty as well and there's some darker ones Let's try to get some of the darker beads on here too. I think this is a Valentine's mix. So that's why there's the colors are the way they are. Okay, so we have that. And now let's see if I pick this up, we want to, we can keep some of the paint on the sides because that would look normal. No, that's not what I wanted to happen. All right, so there we go. So we have our sides and let's just tuck. I mean, I'm going to use my fingers, but you can use a brush here to kind of just tuck those on the sides. Just kind of put them down a bit. So there we go. So that I think looks pretty neat. Looks real, doesn't it? <laughs> I can't, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> I want some chocolate. But anyway, so that one looks really cool. So I'm going to put this one, actually, I'm going to remove the pink one. I'm going to put this back on here and we're going to, let's move the tissue first up and we'll put this guy like so, so he can dry. So that looks really neat. So you know what? We'll do the same thing with the pink. I'm going to go into a time lapse so you guys don't have to you can listen to me yammer on while I'm trying to figure out sprinkles. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back. So this one, <laughs> what I ended up doing is I chose a brown to be kind of like a dark chocolate and then the white. So we have that. Now let's see if we can pick it up and we'll do the same thing we did before. We're just going to tap down these little ridges on the sides. And we also want to make sure we don't have anything, any of the sprinkles kind of standing straight up because that's going to make things a little bit difficult for like obviously the round ones we can't do anything about we'll leave those but any like these ones have little hearts and oh, sorry guys um these have hearts and stuff on them so we just want to make sure that we're, you know, we're kind of laying them flat if possible 
So I'm just going to go through. I'll go through with the tweezers and actually do that properly just now. So anyway, so like I said, we're just going to tap down and get rid of any of the excess on the side. So this way it just looks like it's draped over and that's it. So, so we have that. Let's get rid of this because I know I'm going to put my sleeve in it. And I'm sorry, I know my sleeve <laughs> causes anxiety because <laughs> these are like my, uh, my big sleeve sweaters. So, um, Anyway, so yeah, so there we go. So that is our uh, dark chocolate strawberry one. And I'm gonna grab, I'll grab another tissue and I'm gonna put these to dry. It's gonna, I think we're gonna be, we might be okay, but in about, it's probably gonna take a couple hours for these to dry. And let me grab this tissue because I'm gonna drop it, I'm sure. There we go. Let's do that. So I'm going to put this one here and we'll grab our white one, which is now sticking to the paper towel and we'll put you here. Okay. So we're going to leave these guys to dry and, um, it's probably going to take a couple hours for them to fully dry. I, I at least a couple, or maybe a little bit more cause I put it on pretty thick. So, um, we'll leave them to dry. Then I'll come back and I'm basically going to take them and, <laughs> maybe even like flip them over just to kind of see if any of the sprinkles fall off. Um, or before I do that, I might just go in and take some of my gloss varnish, which is over here. I'll take some of the gloss varnish and I'll just kind of quickly kind of paint. I'll just do that. I'm not going to do the upside down thing <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, but I'll just paint um, a little bit of the gloss varnish to kind of seal in all the sprinkles. And uh, this way, everything's going to stay in place. We're not going to have to worry about anything. Grab my tweezers because I see one standing up here. Um, yeah, so just to kind of seal everything in. And then once that's done, um, we'll go on to the next step, which is going to be super fun. So we'll be back. Okay, so um, so the next step is um, we're going to be utilizing all this fun stuff here. And uh, a lot of these sprinkles I got from a few different companies and I've had them sitting in my studio here. And um, Some of them you might recognize because I did use them last Christmas for some ornaments. Um, but let's show them again for those who might be new. So these are, so they have these lollipops. That's these ones here, these lollipops. And also these little dilly dally things so they're here and these are not real candies these are actually made for crafting like for resin ooh, and things so um i think they're made of like polymer clay or something like that they're very lightweight so we have those and counterculture's website i'll put in the link in the description it has they have a ton they have gummy bears they have little like rock candy i think looking things little cheesecake things i mean just whole bunch of sweets and I'm probably gonna go do some shopping after this <laughs> but um so I have those and then I have these little guys are from a, a Canadian company um or at least where I got them from is Glitter Babe so they do they focus on they uh, mostly sell glitter but they also sell some of these cute guys too so we have some of those and I have some uh sprinkles now these are actual polymer clay sprinkles so they're meant for crafting the ones i put on the chocolate bars are real baking sprinkles but these are not so i think you could you, you could use obviously baking sprinkles as well but i thought i really like the colors the pastelness of this and it goes so well with everything else i have going on here so what we're gonna do with all of these is we're gonna remove this move these out of the way and you guys over here i got this really cute tray check it out oh too big for the space i have here so i have this cute tray and it's like a melamine material it's it's not like wood or um anything like that like it's actually just you know that you know them I, I think it's called melamine they make like bowls and stuff out of it now for i have them in my kitchen for mixing and stuff so so I have this, and I got it off Amazon, and uh, I actually got a set of two. Well, I have two. I don't know if I bought a set of two for, or if it came in a set of two. I can't remember. But anyways, I'll try to put the link in the description for that as well. And it had a couple different colors. I love this kind of like mint green color or this light aqua color. 
I really liked it. So I wanted to, and I thought it would just be so fun to make something colorful and cute in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting, and I don't know exactly how we're going to do it yet, but I'm thinking kind of something like this, you know, kind of get a couple of these guys in here. And then, you know, we're going to scatter all this stuff kind of around, you know, the, uh, in the tray. So uh, obviously I'm going to do this while I'm, you know, once I put the resin in, I can't really do it now because we need the base of resin to be poured first and then we're going to add in all this stuff. So, but it kind of gives you an idea of what I'm going to be doing with it. Just kind of adding pretty much everything that's on, well, not these packages, but pretty much everything else is going to end up in the tray. And then I want to add some of these to kind of sprinkle around. So I think it'd be kind of cute. So what I'll do is I'm going to need to take all these out and I'm going to pour the resin in because we'll need to pour a little bit of resin in, place everything in. And then uh, I think I'll do two pours. So I'll do a pour to kind of set everything. And so just put like kind of pour it. So everything's not fully submerged. It's going to be just, you know, a base and kind of have everything stick into the resin so it'll cure enough that nothing's going to float or move because I'm not 100% sure if the polymer clay is going to want to float. I'm not saying we're going to have it's a super deep pour but just in case you know things might want to float to the surface and it's going to cause an uneven surface. So I think what I'll do is I'll pour a little bit, um, probably put some iridescent glitter in there because you know I have to have glitter and uh, set everything in place, let that set and then come back and do a top coat. Um, these ones in the corner here, I actually might stick most of them in the corner because they are quite a bit higher than the chocolate. So if it turns out that I can't fully submerge them, because obviously the more resin you put into your tray, the uh, heavier the tray is gonna be. So I think I might just leave them in the corners or something. So there's, there's kind of like a geode effect or the crystal effect where we kind of have maybe the edges, the corners are not completely submerged in resin, but then everything else is nice and flat in the middle. Um, maybe something like that. We'll see how it goes as I'm, you know, working through all this. But so we'll go into a time lapse. I'm going to take all this out because obviously I have to pour the resin in first and then add everything in. And then we'll come back when everything is done. Like I said, I'm probably going to be doing two pours. So I'll, tr I'll try to keep both of those in the time lapse so you guys can see that happening. And then, yeah, we'll come back and see how it looks afterwards. Okay, so all done. <laughs> um, so I ended up taking, I ended up doing three layers of resin to completely cover the, actually it was mostly the sprinkles on <laughs> the chocolate bar things that actually took the most resin um, because they were just, you know, there were some pretty large, um, you know, the ball sprinkles on these ones and I kind of knew obviously by putting those on that you know I was going to be you know I'm increasing the height so of course that means the resin is going to be higher in order to cover it so as you can see you know on the edges here there's like quite a bit it's probably like half maybe I don't know if it's half an inch but like three eighths of an inch of resin in here so the tray I mean it's not super heavy but it has a little bit of a weight to it um, I really do like how this turned out. The only thing I probably would do, um, I don't know if you can actually see it, but I did kind of like the, you know, just enough resin to cover everything, but it's not completely flat. Cause like you can see here that the, you know, the resin's just covering those little sprink those sprinkles and it's just, um, 
just barely because <laughs> I didn't really want to add too much more resin and fill up the tray. But in any case, if I was going to do it again, or if I just wanted to have it to be thinner, then I would probably um, not use the, you know, the round, um, I forgot what they're called, the round, the large round ball sprinkles. I'd probably just stay with more of the flat kind of confetti sprinkles or the, um, or even like the, the polymer clay ones that are actually in the tray, which, you know, I'm going to get a close up so you guys can see it. But even the polymer clay ones, like even that, if you don't want to use real sprinkles, you could do that as well. And I think that would work perfectly. And then it would allow you to, you know, have less resin in the tray itself. So I probably could have gone down another like quarter inch in resin in terms of the height or the thickness of the resin here if I didn't use these larger sprinkles. So that's one thing. And like I said, I did know that going in. I wasn't, you know, taken by shock <laughs> with that, but I did want to try it just to kind of see. And this tray could handle it because it was a pretty deep tray. So it wasn't like a major concern for me, but just to keep that in mind, if you decide you want to try something like this, keep in, you know, keep in mind the, if you're doing coasters, keep in mind the depth of your coaster and the, to make sure that, you know, you're able to cover what you need to cover if you're using um, some larger pieces like this. So anyway, so let's get a close up of what it looks like. And I love, 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 love the iridescent sprinkles. Oh, sorry. I've got sprinkles on the brain now. Iridescent glitter in the uh, in the background there. Just love that look and just I don't know I just think this is such a fun tray and I like um you could easily just put it like on a table or an ottoman or you know at a coffee station or a sweet station and uh you know it just it can be decorative obviously you don't need to put anything on it if you don't want to it can be decorative or it is functional where you can put things on it as well and it just I think it's just super cute and really fun so Anyways, oh, and I wanted to mention as well that for we use fabric paint um, on the for the drizzle, you know, the chocolate drizzle or uh, the white chocolate drizzle on these. Um, if you wanted to just use regular acrylic paint and uh, put it in like a, a confectionery piping bag, then and just cut, cut the tiniest hole in it. I mean, that would work for that as well. So you don't have to go and get specialty fabric paint or anything like that for a project like this. A definitely, you know, a nice thick acrylic would work as well. Like don't get one that's super runny because then it's going to spread and it's not going to look great. Get a thicker acrylic and that should work well too. So again, um, everything that's in here, I believe pretty much all of it's still available on websites, like all the different candy pieces and stuff. I'll link them in the description below. So this way you can find them if you're looking for them. But in any case, I hope you guys really like this video. I had a blast making this and I'm actually looking forward to making more. If you want to purchase this, I will be listing it on my website. Um, you'll find that at the end of the video as well as in the description in uh, my beacons link that's there. It's going to have my website. So if you want to purchase it, it'll be there. It even has my little sticker on it right embedded into the resin there. So um, it's like a limited piece, basically, you know, seen it on YouTube. But uh, yeah, so anyway, so if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. If you have any suggestions on how you would like to do something like this, but maybe try something different. I mean, the whole chocolate bar idea, like I said, it's trending right now. And I think um, it'd be cool to come up with some other designs for the chocolate bars and stuff too, and then put those in resin. So I might look into that later, especially if we get closer to Christmas and things like that. I think there's a lot of really holiday, there's some really cute holiday themed stuff that we could work on. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a good one. Enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Take care. Thanks. Bye.